Hello everybody, this is Nick Simpson from JustTrafficProfit.com and this video series, it's going to be a video series, we only got one out so far, but is uh, spawned from a question that was asked me by a friend on Facebook and basically they asked, how do I create an SEO friendly web page? A very simple question guys, but it was a very complicated answer and actually I foresee this video series being a uh, maybe six videos maybe ten to cover on the topics to really truly answer that question guys SEO stands for search engine optimization if you're not familiar with the term and basically all this means is what do I need to do to my web page to make it attractive to search engines what do I need to do to make it sexy to search engines uh, you know if you want to get ranked high in search engines there's a lot of things that need to happen there's backlinks to your site there's setting up the content of your site correctly. There's linking um, in and out from the site can be important. Um, you know, the domain name can be important. The titles, you know, there's hundreds of things. You know, there's whole, there's there's million dollar businesses. All they do is trying to figure this out, guys. So the big problem with SEO is there's a lot of opinions. And what I plan to do here, guys, is to suck my opinion out of it. So nobody can say, uh, Nick Simpson said that this would work and it didn't because um, you know my techniques to generate a lot of traffic for myself and the tricks and tips I use may not work for you so guess what you can watch my other videos if you want my tips this video is based on facts by industry standards in a document provided by Google so if you want to know what the guys over like you know Matt Cuts and the guys over at Google are saying do well I printed out this document the Google search engine optimization starter guide okay this is a free document it is available at google.com I will be running through this document as reference to explain um, basically SEO in a nutshell guys so if you have any comments or questions always ask me guys I'm glad to add more information in the next video or um, get a hold of you uh, personally and take care of those questions or concerns you may have um, if you do like this information, please, please, please hit us up with some stars down below um, if you're on YouTube or whatever ranking system the site has that you're at. And please subscribe over on the right. We, we'd love for you to see the rest of this video series, except it's probably going to take us a week or so to get it all out to you. So this video is truly is just an introduction. We're limited um, time-wise and, and size-wise for our videos, so we're really going to have to break this down into little parts. What I plan on doing uh, to make it easy for everybody to follow along is to do chapter by chapter or topic by topic and then break these into videos. This one being the introduction, I am going to go ahead and get into the very first thing that Google thinks is important, okay? And the first thing Google talks about is creating a, a title for your web page, guys. Believe it or not, um, if you've been doing this for a while, you're probably very familiar with the title tag and you probably know all about that and don't want me to cover it, but I got to do this for everybody, guys. So basically, here's the deal. Um, when you go to a web page on your web browser, and when I say web browser, I refer to Opera, Firefox, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, or whatever you're using to view the web page that you're seeing me on right now is your browser, guys. The bar at the top that tells you the program name and then something else. What it says besides the program name is what the title tag has displayed to the browser. The browser puts it up there. So I want you to understand right off the bat that anything you add to a title tag is what will display to your visitors at the top of their web browser. Okay, This is very important because people are going to see this. If you want your site to look prof professional, make sure you make your tag look professional. Okay. Now, what they are talking about more importantly um, than than really, uh, I'm sorry, more importantly than than showing at the top of the browser, what they are concerned with, Google is concerned with, is um, where it shows on their search engine, guys. And if you run a search in uh, Google, what you're going to find is you're going to find something like this. I'll try to find the picture for you guys. Sorry about that. You're going to find something like this, where there is big text at the top that is blue and that is a link okay and that link is what you can click on to go to this website guys and the reason I bring that up is because if you get say you're set in the top 10 of Google and it's down between you and a few others okay sorry I'm looking down I'm getting organized guys 
But if it's down to you and a few other guys on Google and your title says something that has nothing to do with your topic, people aren't going to click on it. But if you're in the top five or ten and your title is accurate and descriptive and uh, tells exactly what is on your web page, you're actually going to raise your chances of people clicking your link. You don't have any control over what Google puts out there besides setting up these title tags because their spiders are going to pull from it. And web spider or web bot, you hear these terms all the time if you don't know what they are. These are basically programs on search engines servers that look across the whole internet and they find information on websites in which they use to index, rank, and list your website on their search engines. Okay, So your title is what's going to be the link to your website by default from Google, from Yahoo, from MSN, from you know Cool, uh, Ask, whoever, you know, whatever search engine you guys are into, most of them are pulling from these title tags, guys. Now, now if you understand how to create a good title, uh, the first thing they do say is create unique and accurate titles. Now, guys, what they mean by this is they mean unique. They don't mean you say um, if your site's dogs.com, you're not going to say dogs.com about us for the about us. You're not going to say dogs.com about or buy now for the buy now page. You need to remove your domain name from your title tag if you want to follow Google's rules here guys these are what these guys at Google say this is what gets you right so I'm gonna to listen to them um, your web page your domain name is on your web pages all over I'm sure enough as it is so let's take it out of the title tag guys it's gonna help you alright and also they say do not keyword spam in your title okay if you make a title and it says dogs big dogs bad dogs hairy dogs this dogs I'm a dog you can't don't put the same word a hundred times in the title because it's not descriptive and that's what they mean when they say unique and accurate they want you to accurately describe what is on your page in that title tag okay general rule of thumb 255 characters is the limit of what a spider will see so if you make a title that is longer than 255 characters meaning 255 letters or numbers or spaces they're not going to see it so short to the point accurate is what you want do not have a site that's about one thing and say it's about another. Okay, If you got a porn site and you say, come look at my Disney videos, it's the title tag, guess what's going to happen, guys? You're not even going to get indexed. Okay, That's what Google does, is it checks the validity of one piece of information to the next. And then if it says these have nothing to do with each other, they don't just list you differently. They just simply don't list your site, guys. So it's important that you are honest, you are true, you're accurate, and you're concise with these title tags. And that is what Google is going to tell you in two or three pages worth of reading if you go on here, guys. And I'm going to skip that. Save you guys the reading. Make them right. Make them right the first time. You're going to get list, listed higher in search results. And it's going to help you get a mass amount of traffic to your website. And if you'd like to see more of this information, I'm going to follow up directly after this video with another talking about the rest of the meta tags and what meta tags are. So thanks for watching. Nick Simpson, JustTrafficProfit.com. Subscribe to the top right, stars down below. Thanks, guys.